Previously on Chaos TV. There's no strippers. Where are the strippers? So we are back to part two of the best build for Python. I'm about to bring him into Hydra in just a second. But before that, let me try to pull an extra legendary because this is too tempting. And I believe in some Chinese New Year luck, right? So I have 11 sacreds here and I am four sacreds into mercy. Let's see, I'll just pull three. Let's see if I get anything. All right, so best of luck. It's gonna be a quick sharp pull session. All right, let's see. We get something. Uh, oh, trombor. Is this guy new? Wait, what is, th oh, okay. Okay, this guy is new for me. Trombo orc guy, right? Okay, not bad. Two more. Let's see if I get anything. Buster is no. Come on, we are at seven. Ah. Okay. That's not good. Should I go all out? Maybe just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Come on. Terrium. I'm 8 into mercy. That's not good, man. Uh. Come on. Wow. Terrium is really not giving me anything. Uh. Come on. Come on. It's had, it has to be a legendary, right? Aishma, okay. Come on, Parium. Wow. We are like seven into mercy. Seven plus four, eleven into mercy. The next one should be one. Come on. Come on. Wow. Gets absolutely nothing. Chinese New Year luck. Wow, this is crazy. How many shots you want to take from me, Plarium? What the, the lag, man? The lag, seriously. It took almost all my secrets. Okay. What the? Who the hell is this? Let's go, another one. Sakia! My second Sakia for sure. Uh, I think this guy is a Nathrail. Nathrail is new for me. So, originally I said I would just use three shots, it became using all my secrets. Just one more. Just one more. Come on. Alright, so I think it's a decent. Decent pull, I guess. Sakya is a good dupe to have. Alright. So, that's all for the sharp pull sessions. Let's get into uh, Python in Hydra. So, just a refresher on how I built my Python. He's in a bolster set coupled with a fortitude set. Alright. This will grant him immense uh, amount of resistance so these are his stats his hit point can be higher obviously if you have better gear than i do um, i'm still waiting for them to drop a forge pass with a bolster set all right decent amount of defense good speed and quite a decent resistance so his skills um, fully booked his skills and masteries these are the masteries i went with okay so for the support tree down to the lasting gifts and the defense tree down to unshakable for additional resistance 
Okay. Okay, let's take him into Hydra. Um, okay, let me try to do nightmare with him. He is a. Uh, he is a. Uh, okay. Okay, so. I'm just gonna replace him with my normal Hydra. Uh, nightmare Hydra team, alright? Assuming that everyone. Or, or you who are watching don't have a Duchess, right? So. This is the next best thing to Duchess. Comparable to Duchess in terms of Hydra. Let's see how I do in uh, Nightmare. Okay. In this com, I would have issues with uh, Head of Torment because I don't put in uh, the black guy Inquisitor Shemel. But we, we go by luck, right? There's no such thing as Head of Torment popping out. So we're gonna start start things off so in this com we have um, Python and Chris doing the heavy lifting protecting everybody okay so Lady Kimmy is gonna give us a lot of buffs as you can see right the increased accuracy and increased speed so Joe as usual is going to go after the head of decay Python right now we were just gonna keep the cleanse all right, let's go. Royal Guard doing Royal Guard's thing. Okay. All right, let's see. This is interesting to watch. All right, now let's go like this. Chris is going to have a lot of um, buffs. It, they can very well be a mischief tank. All right. Um, Python with a resistance aura, making Chris uh, much more, uh, much higher resistance for the mischief tank. Let's see. I'm waiting to see uh, head of Raph's big hit. Let's see if we survive that. Let's see how much damage that he can do. Okay, we're gonna reserve uh, the cleanse for the poison. The poison that the poison head is gonna put up. Wait, what? Nothing? Nope, a bit of poison, that's all. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, everyone seems to be in good shape, right? That was a hit of Wrath's big hit. Okay. Uh, let's heal. We got a heal going on, easy. I think this, in terms of healing, this is better, slightly better than CP, I guess, because you can control when to heal when uh, Head of Decay is out. I'm just gonna do my usual thing. Alright. Seems pretty decent. With the bolster set, you can see the difference here why you must use a bolster set instead of a shield set for PB PvE content because bolster set will allow Python to heal and you want your reviver to be able to survive longer, right? Okay, so I have the burn at two turns, I should target this as well Okay, can't really rely on his uh, strengthen because you only use the strengthen when he revives, right? So that's not good. Okay. We have the ally protect. We are so... We have so much uh, protection going on. Let's see uh, if we can do one key nightmare with Python. Okay, we have the heal going. Uh, let's see here. He's gonna cleanse, right? Here the case gonna cleanse. Just gonna let him cleanse. No problem. Okay. Just gonna let. Wait. Oh, I get to provoke him again. Okay. Cool. In that case, block buff on everybody. 
Wow, the passive is really really strong. Okay. Royal Guard is probably the weakest here. That is really expected. Okay, uh protect. Chris is so good with uh, Python because he gives up buffs, right? He gives up a lot of buffs and then he also protects with ally protection. That is absolutely crazy. A lot of damage mitigation going on. So we have the block buffs. Uh, dude is gonna use his poison smoke next turn. Okay, let me heal up. Drop speed. Okay. I'm gonna reserve my Geo's burn. I don't know who is gonna eat my Royal Guard. Okay, this guy. Let's go for this guy then. Eh, it's this guy, okay. Seeing wrongly. No, you don't. No poison smoke for you, my good lad. Okay. Think I will need to take away your attack up. That's very annoying. Okay. Going to cleanse, no problem. Okay, this guy is under poison smoke, that's why. Okay, done. We freed uh, Royal Guard, no issue. So, at this point, I think this is quite decent. I'm gonna let the fight play through and catch you at the end.
So as you can see we are well above one key damage. Um, it feels like the damage mitigation that uh, Pythium provides here uh, is somewhat not consistent with Duchess but it's very very close provided you have uh, buff uptime a high buff uptime Duchess although it's a 15% against boss the damage mitigation passive is 15% from bosses but it's a consistent uh, stream of damage mitigation alright so as long as Duchess is alive uh, everyone gets that damage reduction so it's a bit challenging to use Python together with uh, uh, someone like a Lady Kimi and Chris because you need to keep the buff up at all times most of the time but it's definitely viable especially when you don't have a Duchess so this comb will serve you well when you want to do Hydra but one thing I feel like lacking is if you can see from the playback of this fight there's a one head of torment popping up that's where you will face some issue unless you bring in someone like a uh, inquisitor shemail all right because python doesn't bring that perfect veil like duchess does so all in all the python is still very very viable he is in a poster set as you can see he only dies by getting devoured uh, by one of the heads just now he doesn't die a lot uh, so there's no way for me to save uh, Python because I got unlucky my royal guard was devoured by the head of suffering early so <laughs> we were like one man short for a period of time until we reached the one key damage right so alright so I hope this give you a good insight on how you should be building your Python okay um, so definitely keep definitely use him in a bolster set so if he can dominate uh, arena and hydra for you he can very well do uh, faction wars uh, from any dungeon as long as you uh, can use him with a suitable uh, comp uh, champions uh, combination reason why I said that is because although he can do uh, dungeons like uh, Ice Golem, Spider, uh, Dragon and Fire Knight it, it will require certain speed tune if you want to use him for Iron Twins and Sand Devil Necropolis alright as far as uh, Doom Tower goes if you're using a Seer comm this guy doesn't provide a whole lot of buffs for Seer to use so i don't think uh, you can carry him with a seer uh, so but he he if you are using like a normal team for doom tower he can definitely help you survive with a good revive and a good heal really really great so that's it for best build on python so far and I hope you guys enjoyed the series and if you like my content please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.